We were a group of women outside the city gate by the river at a place of prayer. Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from Thyatira, was also there. Two men came along and started to speak to us and asked to join us in prayer. We later learned that they were Paul and Silas. The Lord opened Lydia's heart to heed Paul's message. She and all the members of her household were baptized. Another day, Paul and Silas were on their way to a place of prayer. They were met by a female slave who had a spirit in her that could predict the future. She earned a lot of money for her owners by fortune telling. She followed us and shouted at us. This was disrupting and so Paul ordered the spirit out of her. When her owners realized that their chance of making money was gone, they dragged Paul and Silas to the authorities and they were put in prison. At around midnight, these two very positive prisoners named Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. The rest of us were listening to them. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake and the prison shook. All the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, saw all the doors open and drew his sword to kill himself. He thought all the prisoners had escaped. But Paul assured him and shouted that he should not harm himself. The jailer called for lights, rushed in and lay in front of them, trembling. The jailer accepted Jesus Christ and his whole family was baptized.